So now that you have sorted the different organisms into your predictions about what gives off carbon dioxide and what does not give off carbon dioxide in an ecosystem, we are going to go ahead and start investigating this question. To do this, we are going to watch an investigation of a scientist studying whether or not carbon dioxide is reproduced by a snail and an elodia plant. Now, if we take a look at our categories, I can see that a snail is a primary consumer. Now, remember, that means that it, it is a consumer that is consuming or eating plants to get the energy storage molecules. The consumer population of plants are primary consumers. The elodia plant is a producer, meaning that it does produce its own energy storage molecules. In the investigation, we are going to watch for some different colors in the test. This will indicate whether or not there are different amounts of carbon dioxide. Let's watch a little video to see how this test is going to be set up. Last time we saw that plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. But where does the carbon dioxide in an ecosystem come from? In this experiment, we see whether producers or consumers give off carbon dioxide. In the box, we have a producer, the water plant called Elodia, and a consumer, the snail. First, we start with three vials, each containing water and a chemical that tells us how much carbon dioxide is in the vials. The chemical's color will change according to the amount of carbon dioxide. Yellow means that there's a high level of carbon dioxide, green means that there's a low level, and blue means that there is no carbon dioxide. Right now, the vials have no carbon dioxide because we want to test which organisms give off carbon dioxide. Next, we'll add an elodia plant to vial B and a freshwater snail to vial C. Vial A, with no organism, will be the control group. Finally, we wrap all three vials in foil. We don't want light to interfere with our results since we know that plants perform photosynthesis and take in carbon dioxide from the environment in the light. We're going to check back with the vials after 12 hours. What do you think will happen to the carbon dioxide levels? So, as you can see, we are going to have two test groups, a snail and a melodia. We are going to be looking for whether the snail or the elodia plant gives off carbon dioxide. Now, before we go ahead and do the investigation, I want to hear your predictions. Make sure you set up this table or fill in your handout to think about whether or not you think we are going to observe that the snail and the elodia plant are giving off carbon dioxide. Remember, we are going to be looking to see if the water turns green or yellow to indicate that either low amounts or high amounts of carbon dioxide have been produced. So after you've made your prediction, go ahead and watch the investigation and make sure that you record your results as you do. Look for whether the snail and the elodia are producing that carbon dioxide and having a color change in their water to signify this. I look forward to checking back with you after the video. It's been 12 hours, so let's unwrap the vials to see what happened. It looks like vial A, the control, is unchanged, which we expected. Vial B and C, with the plant and the snail, have changed color. First they were blue, and now they're yellow. This means that both producers and consumers give off carbon dioxide. So from our observations, it does look like both the snail and the elodia did give off carbon dioxide during our investigation. The snail, if you recall, is a type of consumer. The producer is the elodia. 
This leads us to the conclusion that both consumers and producers are giving off carbon dioxide. But we still want to collect more evidence about other organisms in the ecosystem. We need to switch our view to think about whether or not decomposers give off carbon dioxide. We're going to read an article to think about this further. 